view the scrapbook if you're new to Monkey Island or need a refresher. I also want to say a big thank you to uh, our friends at Devolver Digitals, uh, the, the Devolvers of Digitals for the code uh, for this game. Thank you very much, guys. I mean, I, I bought the game too, but you know, they also gave me a code. So. Hey, want to see my Mighty Pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. I do, but I think we need subtitles. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, I guess that doesn't have subtitles. That's cool. All right, let's go. Hey, want to see my Mighty Pirate scrapbook? It's hey, filled with my news. adventures. Thank you, bud. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a Mighty Pirate. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. Text and language. Uh, more blather, worse pacing. We're gonna have to do a playthrough of that at one point. That's fine. Ever since I was a... In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. The test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. Things to Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meat Hook joined me on my voyage to Monkey Island to save Elaine. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. On the island was a gigantic monkey head statue with hidden catacombs underneath. LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. The monkey head opened with a special key that you There's stuck in its button. ear. Okay. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrot. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. Where's the subtitle button? Hey, want to see my mighty pirate scrapbook? Mm -mm. Where was it, chat? Text and speech first option. No, that, that was sound effect subtitles. What about here? Oh, text speech. There we go. Is that, is that it? Yeah, maybe that's it. Hey, ah, see there my it is. Mighty okay, great. Pirate scrap. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. Or so I thought. Applause, please. That turned out Elaine already had everything under control. How does she do that? I defeated LeChuck and he basically exploded. It was the beginning of something magical. Uh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Good times. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces, which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. The mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll, which came in handy more than once. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. He was using magic, but then, so was I. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, LeChuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. Wait. Wait a second, this is from Curse. I thought, it cur is Curse canon? It was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic skull, after a rousing sea battle. What the hell? I thought it was only based after two. I got buried alive. I got eaten by a snake. I erupted a volcano on purpose. That's awesome. There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. Things backfired on LeChuck because Elaine and I got married when it was all over. Game, set, 
matchmaker. This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. Murray's Cannon! Yay! Murray is Cannon! Okay, awesome. Mm, that's either Elaine's wedding veil or my <clears throat> handkerchief. We got them to match. Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. I don't know why you have to have candy-coated almonds at a wedding, but apparently you do. Oh, man. This was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. Oh, my God. What? 4-2? What? The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate or even an insult at all. Or was it? LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale. I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Okay, so hold on. I was fully under the impression that it was just one and two. Have we been bamboozled the entire time? Is everything canon? I went on trial for my life on four separate charges. I defended myself, of course. It's not all canon, it's a recap? The death card doesn't usually represent oh literal physical death. Except when it did, I had to wear a hook for a while. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my big whoop adventure. I defeated the Chuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. Ouch. Note to self, get more paper for the rest of my adventures. Dude, that's amazing. Um, uh, okay. More puzzles, harder puzzles, the full monkey for pro adventure gamer who wants it all. Ah, we're playing Monkey Island. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Take this, LeChuck. Ugh. Guybrush. Come over here, gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids, you're not supposed to be in here. It's the end of two. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry, <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on, let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on, I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way, you have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. Okay. Chucky, get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um, hello? Boo! Ha, he's dead to the world. Ah. Sounds real. Put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> it says, return outhouse key when finished, or else. How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. That's money that grown-ups use. I know what 
a piece of eight is? How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. Tell me again how much the scurvy dogs are. Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. A to-do list. Interesting. How much are those chicken foot fries? Chicken foot fries are two pieces of eight. Can we get some chicken foot fries? You got two pieces of eight? No. Then no fries. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Do I have horse armor in my inventory? I don't yet. It unlocks the outhouse outside. The words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. Some places it's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Good. You Thank you, Baby DK. Oh, what is that? Ugh, what is this stuff? It smells the same as the toilet. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. I once had the hip. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. <laughs> It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. I thought it was a piece of eight at first. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. One sec. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? Gross. I'm not touching that gunk. It seems more like something Chucky would do. Hey, Chucky. It says you're supposed to wash your hands. I never wash my hands. I dare you to take a drink of this. No way, I'm not doing that. I double dare you to take a drink of this. Don't want to get sick before I get my scurvy dog. In France, they call a scurvy dog a chien scorbut. I double dog dare you to take a drink of this. I'll do it for a million pieces of eight. You will? No. I triple dibble dare you to drink this. I'll do it if you do it first. What's that over there? Where? Okay, I took a drink. You did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Do it again then. Okay, you don't have to drink, but I dare you to wash your hands. Fine. Your turn. Ew! You actually did it! Your turn. No way. Your turn. No way. Your turn. No way. Okay, I can't turn that I around. I can stand on my head without using my hands. Let's go. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. Nah, I want to get scurvy dogs. 
Exhibit removed. Aw, I wonder if this is drinking water. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Yeah, let's get scurvy dogs instead. I'm hungry. That is a very chill rat. We'll get some scurvy dogs and then go play over there. Sounds real. Okay, so. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs nice. if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. They're hairy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. Oh. Oh. Yum! What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I want to tie up Chucky. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. No way. Oh, come on. <clears throat> That's my friend, Dee. Hey, Dee. Hey, Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sidheads. Oh my god. Find our real parents. That's a cool anchor. Just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? <laughs> they were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies. But the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's amazing. Applause, please. That is actually amazing. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. Hey, Chucky. Want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. Hey, he 
hands off. Don't feed the duck. I want to feed the duck. Don't feed the duck. I want to feed the duck. Did you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. You're not gonna touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. <laughs> you should put that on your scurvy dog. <laughs> sure. Oh. Oh. Yuck! I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops. At home, I've got a collection of old scurvy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. What was it? Wait. Is that Oh my god, dude. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way. You'll never catch up to my level. Hey yo. I win. I win. Uh. -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. Hey, uh, Tisker 6 thank you so much, and I agree completely. Thank you, bud. Your sword is as sharp as a banana. I'll still tear you down to size. I for sure won that one. In your dreams. You fight like kids. You're about as scary as a bowl of oatmeal. I'll be sure to break you fast. I'm so the best at this. Almost as good as me. I've seen better footwork from a footstool. You fight like a doofus. Yeah, like a doofus. Who's an amazing fighter, you mean? Okay, that was a good comeback. I know. You guys give new meaning to the term practice dummy. Wow. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. I relish the opportunity, you scurvy dog. Okay, that was a good comeback. I know. Your delivery is going to the wrong zip code. Your sword is as sharp nice. as a okay, banana. And your brain is almost as sharp as that. I for sure won that one. In your dreams. You're as subtle as two rhinos at a tea party. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if! Let's look for a four-leaf clover! Okay. Good luck with that. I found one! Awesome! There was still one left? Darn! Feed the duck and make a wish at the wishing well. I should find a coin to throw in. Hmm. Are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we head this way. <laughs> I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I wish we could speak backwards. Or what it is, you know. Yes, <laughs> That was fun. Aw, oh, man. It wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. Yeah, we, we basically picked up right at the end of Monkey Island 2. I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. I'm saving this scurvy dog for myself. I wonder what's in that basket. 
Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 It looks full. Cool. Where's Dean? Do you want a sword fight with me? I've seen you fight. Come back in a few years, maybe. Okay, so... I think to find our parents, we have to keep going, right? I don't think there's anything else to do here. Let's keep moving. Need the duck more? Oh no. It looks full. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs! Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures! We just did Big Whoop! Big Whoop? Oh boy, that takes me back. Oh my I like god! I like Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. This is the this answer to really two! Funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun! But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding The Secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? <laughs> I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go <laughs> with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. 